you ever wondered how you social insects like ants and wasps organize themselves in colonies? Syrian Sumners, a professor of behavioral ecology at UCL, was a co-author on a recent paper that tells us more. To describe and explain interactions across levels of social organization, she and her team observed the U social paper wasp, Polistus canadensis. They looked at over 30,000 interactions between 1,000 wasps from 93 nests across Panama. Now you might be wondering how they did it. It's a lot of wasps, many recorded interactions, and since 1964, the extent and biological importance of nest drifting in social insects has been unanswered. Wasps, along with other insects like ants, termites, and bees, are eusocial insects, meaning that their colonies are like a big family, where there's usually just one female, the queen, who's able to lay eggs, and most of the other wasps are her kids. Scientists recently found out that these complex insect societies often interact a lot with other nearby groups of insects, kind of like humans. To understand these interactions, scientists used radio frequency identification, RFID. These RFID tags act like tiny lightweight trackers that allow researchers to gather detailed, up-to-date data on each wasp. Imagine how hard it would have been to track 1,000 wasps with the naked eye. Using mathematical methods, they were able to analyze whether different factors had a statistically significant effect on wasp interactions or if they could be attributed to random chance. They found that on average, 30% of workers drift to other nests, and in doing so, they create multiple layers of social organization. Researchers found three main levels, nest, aggregation, and community. While workers tend to stay loyal to their own nest, the collected data show that wasp movement between nests is common and not limited to specific nests. Aggregation refers to a group of nests that exchange wasps. To put the difference between the nest and aggregation levels of organization into perspective, the average distance between nests within an aggregation was about 6.1 meters, whereas the distance between different aggregations was about 425 meters. That's a big difference. Communities are the largest and most complex level. A community is defined as a collection of aggregations exchanging wasps. After conducting their experiments, scientists realized that the movement patterns between nests stay consistent over time. Instead of being random or brief, there are certain paths that are followed repeatedly. Take a look at these diagrams. The same colored circles represent different nests in an aggregation and the connecting arrows are drifting events. A thicker arrow indicates a greater amount of drifters that flew between the nest. By looking at the arrows, it's clear that drifting events are more common within an aggregation than they are between aggregations. Researchers discover that a possible reason for this is because nests in an aggregation are more genetically similar than nests that are further apart. As they studied how wasps move between nests, the scientists realized it was influenced by three key factors. The first trait is the distance between nests. Drifting was more likely between nests that were closer together. As distance increases, wasps drift less. The second trait was nest size, and that was determined by the number of adult female wasps. Larger nests donated more drifters and smaller nests received more drifts, which makes sense because the benefit of having an extra worker increases with a smaller group. Think of a big group project where it can be helpful to have an extra person. The third trait was worker to brood ratios on each nest. Nests with the higher worker-to-brood ratios donated more drifters and received fewer drifters. A key limitation that's not yet understood very well, but is really important to note, is how manipulating conditions of a nest may disrupt the conditions of other nests in an aggregation. When the researchers were manipulating group size on one nest, it may have altered the interactions between all nests in the network. There are limitations to virtually every scientific study. But the importance of these findings in this paper lies in its ability to not only counter the previous belief that wasps just diffuse and fly wherever they want randomly, but also to test predictions and provide concrete evidence for why these highly structured interactions are occurring. Our understanding used to be based on small-scale studies that were at best correlational in nature. Without these new findings, it would have been hard for us to figure out why this drifting behavior occurs and how important it is for their society to work well. This research paper provides the most comprehensive analysis to date of internest drifting in a social insect and shows how amazing these underappreciated insects are.